how to get a job in software testing without real experience, should I lie on the resume, how can compete in this crazy job market, and why sending hundreds of applications doesn't work. Not working. Well, if you are looking to break into software testing field, this video is for you. I'm Evgeny Kim, a lead software test engineer with nine years of experience. In 2018, I co-founded a software testing bootcamp, which I exited in 2020, and now I'm running a recruiting agency and work with hiring managers for nearly 30 years. Here's my couple insights of what works and what doesn't when starting from scratch in software testing. What doesn't work? Number one, expensive bootcamps. Bootcamps are costly, and the main goal is to sell as many courses as possible and not provide jobs. Paying for a bootcamp is not a magic solution, and no one will guarantee you a job. Guarantee. Right. No guarantee. Way. Guarantee. No Guaranteed. That is just a marketing trick. If you approach it seriously, you will get a job regardless of any bootcamp you pay for. It's like going to a gym. Paying for a membership won't make you fit. You have to work on it. Number two, putting stuff on your resume that you don't know and never work. I learned this hard way. When I was looking my first job, I just used to template that I was given uh, during school. There were a lot of things that I didn't know and I was ignorant enough to apply with this resume. I obviously regretted it during the first couple of interviews, I was embarrassed to say, yeah, I used it a long time ago. Don't remember. Please don't do it. Learn it or able to prove it or remove it completely from your resume. To be fair, this experience gave me confidence and uh, the idea where to move. So I removed all the fluff from my resume and just started applying. At the same time, I was able to get practice while sweating, but still it was practicing for my interviews. So it even was a failure but it was a learning process. What works? Learn it for free first. The number one reason to learn it for free first is that being a self-learner is the most important skill required for a job in tech. Technologies change rapidly and you will have to keep up uh, reading a lot of documentation and learning many things on your own without any guidance. And again, I'm not saying that you shouldn't take any courses, you should have the right expectations. I can recommend James Buck course that I took a while ago, but even James, he insists to take this course once you'll get employed and your employer should pay for this course. Software testing requires analytical skills, problem solving abilities, curiosity and attention to detail. You will need to be able comfortable with both technical and the people skills required for the job. Understand basic concepts like the software development lifecycle, the principles of software testing, and high-level understanding of how the web works. And of course, software testing is not limited on web. It's just one of the most common industry. Everything which is running software needs to be tested. It's almost everything. Whatever you see the software, it needs to be tested. Building practical skills, and this is the most important part. Get real experience. Get the hands-on. There are many ways to do this. Create personal projects, contribute to open source projects, volunteer to test real software for companies in exchange for references on your resume. You can join to our Discord channel. We post this type of opportunities there. There is actually another uh, great resource to get the software testing uh, experience. Crowdsource testing platforms such as Applause, Uber, Testers. I have several examples that start on this platform. It's definitely what to try. You will get an experience and you will get paid. Be hands-on with tools and technologies like Chrome DevTools for web, Postman for API testing, Selenium Playwright for test automation, uh, Jira for development management. Your most important tool will be Google search and ChatGPT to learn how to use any tool. I can do anything. Utilize free and affordable resources like YouTube, Udemy. If I want to learn, I'll go to YouTube. If you don't know all these tools, you shouldn't be discouraged to apply. You should learn on the go at the same time when you are applying for a job. When I was searching for my first job, I didn't know automation. I didn't know Selenium, for example. I removed it from my resume and I learned it on the go. I didn't learn it then I applied. No, I didn't wait for it. You should do this in parallels. Creating a standout resume and LinkedIn profile. Tailor your resume for each application or position. Don't send a generic resume to all openings. It doesn't work anymore. The marketing is saturated and more targeted your resume, the higher your chances. Highlight relevant skills and projects. Optimize your LinkedIn profile with professional photos 
detailed summary and endorsement. Now it's a fun part, the job application. Stop sending hundreds of applications a day, spraying and praying won't work. Instead, apply to five to 10 jobs per day, tailoring each application. Research the company and customize your resume and cover letter accordingly. Find bugs on potential employer's website and create detailed bug reports or create a high-level test plan. If you don't know how to do it, Google it. If you can automate some scenarios, even better. Send this along with your application to demonstrate your skills. Follow up with a message to a hiring manager, highlighting your skills and mentioning the bug reports, test plan, and automated test cases you created. This approach will speak louder than any resume and more importantly, give you a competitive edge as a few people put it this upfront effort. This is your advantage to be noted. I want to stress out that this strategy will put you in the top 5%. Most people, they don't put their effort up front. However, be aware that before doing this investment, there is companies posting also fake positions. So before investing your time, I would do the researching of the company. If they're actually hiring, I would reach out to their employees and asking, are you guys hiring or something like that? So that would be covered in the network box. How to reach your networking? Treat your job search like a business. Your employer is your client. Don't limit yourself to LinkedIn or any other job board. Attend to industry meet meetups, webinars, send cold emails to hiring managers. You can also find out through Google how to get an email from LinkedIn. Interview preparation. Prepare for the most common interview questions specific to QA roles. Practice with friends. Watch our free mock interviews. You can watch it here. Or consider joining our private coaching group. Details in the description below. Be ready for both behavioral and technical interviews where you will discuss your project and the technologies you use. Breaking into software testing field without real experience is a challenging but entirely possible with the right approach. Focus on building practical skills, creating a standout resume, tailor your job applications and demonstrate your abilities through proactive outreach. Remember to stay persistent, not to get discouraged by rejections. Each step bringing you closer to your goal. If you found out this video helpful, please like, comment and subscribe for more content. Share your progress and strategies that worked for you in the comment. Happy testing! Good luck in your job hunt. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.